Rat Fam Adventurers. In another video when we are showcasing all of our items that we are bringing with us on our one year long trip. If you haven't checked out our big gear overview, please go on and check that now. It'll give you a better idea of everything that we're taking. But if you're interested in our toiletries and our first aid, you're in the right place because that is what we're going to review today. All right, let's get into it. So this is our little toiletry bag that we bring with us. We are not super ultra light and we find just putting it all in a bag like this is uh, easy to find and keeps everything relatively tidy. So let's start with all the things that we throw in there first. We'll go with the smaller items. We've got some tweezers. Nice pair of tweezers is always good, especially even just for first aid purposes like splinters, things like that. So put that in our little zipper pocket. Some coarse toenail, fingernail clippers. We're not hardcore and we don't use a knife. And there's that, okay. Also got my handy dandy ear spoon. This works just like Q-tips, except that it's reusable. I got this in Korea. Almost all of uh, Asia uses an ear spoon. And so I was quite curious about this. <laughs> and once I used it, I never went back. I love it. Don't be afraid of the ear spoon. It's amazing. You can actually buy these online too, little like bamboo ones. All right, we also, speaking of bamboo, we have our bamboo hairbrush. This is super lightweight, it's from the body shop. Love this guy, works really well. We searched so much to try to find a travel hairbrush. So ladies, if you're looking for a brush, this is the one or any of the gents out there with long hair. Okay, that goes in our little bag. Always good to have some bug anti-itch ointment. So we went with the Burt's Bees Rescue. Can't read it anymore, Rescue Ointment. This stuff works great. There's that. Also some Carmex, good for chapped lips. Also just some other chapstick here. That's really good for dry hands too. We also have some super intense hand cream. Dermatologist recommended. You just have a little bit of this and it'll go a long way. Some of those days you just feel like your skin is so dry it's gonna break off. So you put a little bit of that on there. What else goes in here? We have our all natural deodorant. We actually just picked some of this up. It's like kind of, uh, like clay texture almost. We make our own deodorant back at home, but we ran out of that. So just went to a natural shop. Highly recommend using something like this. Doesn't have all the chemicals and it is really effective. Good stuff. Always good to have some dental floss. Can come in really handy if you need to sew things as well, cause it's really, really strong. So that's like a little hack. So dental floss. Speaking of sewing, always good to have a little sewing kit with you. I also just have some extra earrings just in case. That's just my little earring thing there. And what else do we keep in here? Ah, yes, we have a sponge. <laughs> this is actually made of plant matter and when it's wet, it expands, but it's really good to use as a loofah. This is what it looks like when it has not been expanded, but you can get these at Trader Joe's and they're biodegradable, pretty cool. The other items that go in our little dop kit here is our tooth oil that we use. So we don't use toothpaste, we use tooth oil. And this brand I am a super, super fan of. It's called Aura Wellness. And this is their healthy mouth blend, i.e. heal thy mouth. And what you do, I actually have two of these bottles as backups because I love this stuff. I'm willing to carry as much as I need because I don't want to run out and have to revert to toothpaste, which I just don't even like using anymore. But I will show you with my bottle that I have open already. So just opens like that and it's as you would imagine oil inside it has it's all organic now and they're even certified organic it's got sweet almond oil cinnamon peppermint uh, spearmint clove mirth and manuka and we take our little aura wellness toothbrush now they're not paying me to say this just wanted to put that out there i just love this product so much that i'm willing to hype it but there's a special toothbrush that they use it's called the bass brush and it has a certain amount of bristles and what you do is you just drip some oil on there and just brush as you normally would. Although there is a little bit of a method with it. But I love this tooth oil, can't recommend it enough. I've had some teeth issues in the past and now just good to go. And even if I have a toothache, it's almost like a first aid in itself. You can just put a drop on that tooth that's hurting and I'm telling you, it's like miracle stuff. So we've got our tooth oils, toothbrushes, and I think that's it that we really carry in this Satchel, I'm looking at the table. Yes, so that's that. Moving on, we have our soaps. You really only need to carry one bottle of soap, but we're on a longer trip, so we've kind of topped up here. We like to use Dr. Bronner's. This stuff's great, I'm sure you guys have heard of it. The 18 and one. I really don't know that it has 18 uses. I would probably make three uses, 
uh, hand wash, body wash, and for washing clothing. They say you can use it as toothpaste, would not recommend that. They say you can use it as shampoo, would not recommend that. But for everything else, it's great. It's high concentrate, biodegradable, so you just need a little bit and it does the job. Oh, and you can wash your dishes with it too. So I guess that's four uses. So we've got the uh, lavender and this new one, hemp sandalwood jasmine. Ooh. I'm very intrigued. Ooh. And then we also have a bar of soap for when this runs out. Some people like to use bars. Some people like to use the liquid. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to experiment, see which one we like. Speaking of bars, we also just got this shampoo bar. We used to have a container that we just like refill, but this is a shampoo bar and we're going to give that a go. Obviously when we're on the road, we're not washing our hair every day. So it does last a little bit longer. Okay. Sunscreens. We prefer to use stick sunscreen. Just find it a little bit easier to utilize than getting your hands all wet and just having like a giant tube. This is just really small. It can fit in your handlebar bag. We've got various ones there just kind of using these up they were like freebies but my favorite is this mineral zinc sunscreen from trader joe's so if you can find that highly recommend it works really well you can see it's like a little bit more clay kind of material and zinc is honestly the best stuff that you can put on your skin really we try to stay as covered as possible so if it's super sunny you know have sleeves have a hat have sunglasses but for the parts of your skin that are exposed like face or hands this stuff really, really works well. Speaking of washing, I kind of forgot to talk about our towel. Just have our little guardians here, turtles. Uh, we both use the small pack towels. Mine's just an REI brand. Darren's is actually the pack towel. Super lightweight, really tiny. And these just dry in like an instant. I mean, it's not a giant towel that you might have at home, but I think it's really worth it to not have the weight and yeah, basically you can just wring it out as you're going and it does a really nice job. Mine's a little smaller. <laughs> I think in the future I would go with something more Darren's size. Makes it a little bit more comfortable. But yeah, those are our towels. So super light on those guys. Okay, so now I think we have covered most of the toiletry items. So let's get into the first aid kind of stuff. We have a bandaging kit, which just has things like uh, gauze and various tapes that we could use, some band-aids, of course, just things of that nature. So that's that pack. And here it's just kind of kind of a, a continuation of those items, just more. Uh, we have some Steri strips in case one of us got a deep cut. Obviously, if it was anything very serious, we would need to go seek medical attention. And we've got some painkillers here. We've got some Motrin, Aleve, and Tylenol, Benadryl. Always get to have some Benadryl on, can on hand just in case you get some allergic reaction. I got a really gnarly bee sting and ant bite and the Benadryl was a savior. So I definitely recommend having that or if you get seasick or something, something to help you fall asleep. But yeah, definitely essentials, a few painkillers, especially because we are female. So once a month we get some intense pain. Uh, this is also just uh, seeing some seasickness medicine, more stomach medicine and some Imodium just in case, but really rarely have to use this. That would be like going on a bus trip. You know, if you have diarrhea, you really shouldn't be taking Imodium. Your body needs to flush, but I guess an emergent situation, if we're getting on some sort of transport without a bathroom, Imodium, good to have as a backup. We also grabbed some uh, Ciproflaxin antibiotics while we were in China. You know, if you're going into the back country, it is kind of nice to have antibiotics on hand. Uh, luckily, Darren is a medical provider, so she can kind of gauge what's going on and we could figure out which antibiotic we would need. Before you go on your trip, you could ask your doctor for a Z pack, something like that, especially if you are going to be away from uh, society and any sort of medical care. We just kind of have it as emergent backup antibiotics. We've also got more stomach stuff, some Pepto Bismol, which can be a preventative method if you're going somewhere where you think you might grab a stomach, get a stomach bug, and some Tums. Both of these, I would say, are essentials. I never really used to use those, but it's actually come in really handy. So I would say for a longer trip, it's now on my essentials list to just have like a little tub of Tums and Pepto Bismol. All right, we've also just got some Neosporin just for cuts and some Benadryl cream, anti-itch cream, again, just for more intensive bug bites. We also have this A&D ointment that has zinc in it. We found this as an alternative to chamois butter. So this is definitely a cheaper option if you get saddle sores or any kind of rash while you're riding. I'll definitely recommend this. A&D ointment. 
Okay, we also have some aqua tabs. I guess that should be more in our like first aid. If we don't have access to clean water, put one of those in. It's just kind of emergency situation. And last but not least, we just have some drink powders here, some ORS. Again, like if we had severe diarrhea or something nearing dehydration. Yeah, we just got some drink powders. This looks a little bit gross, but it's some Picari sweat that we bought a bulk pack and just threw it in a bag. It's a really good alternative to Gatorade and definitely a cheaper option too than buying a bunch of Gatorade sports drinks on the road. All right, guys, I think that is everything for our toiletries and first aid. We've covered it all. If you guys have any questions about what we bring on our trip or even just telling us what you bring on our trip that we don't have or something that seems a little bit excessive, let us know in the comments down below. I'm curious to find out what other cycle tourists or people that are planning cycle tours are uh, planning to put into their toiletry and first aid bags. Thank you guys for watching. That's it for now. Goodbye from Melbourne, Australia, and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Good job, Caitlin. Good job, Caitlin. These Just are the hold. things. These are the essential elements that go into shooting a video. It takes three people yep. to make it right.